um, I'd like to introduce you to Point of the Week. <laughs> um, and I'd like you to experience it first uh, before I show you the picture. I'll show you the picture of it later and uh, later at the end of the exercises, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to basically unbind the whole chest, we're going to free up the whole chest, and we're going to use two channels to do that. We're going to choose the lung channel, which is pretty obvious, I guess, the lung channel. But also, big surprise, the kidney channel runs up here, it runs up near to the clavicle, which is this collarbone here, and it runs right up into here, and there's a close connection between your breathing and how calm your breathing is, and that connection through the central channel down into the Ming Men, and I'd like us to experience that directly. We're gonna do it with doing, and I'll just show you what I mean. Check this out, okay? So we're standing, feet shoulder width apart. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do what we've done before, but just tune in and see what happens. <clears throat> so we're gonna work around lung one, as we've done before in previous weeks, and that's all around this area here, right in front of the shoulder, And that's a very important point for the breathing because it releases the chest. Obviously, it opens up the lung channel, okay? Now, as we do that, I'd like you to just tune into how you're feeling in your lungs. And what you'll feel is you'll feel a kind of like an overall feeling of the lungs uh, being stimulated. And if we go down the channel, I'm gonna keep going down the channel with the going, down to the thumb. And you'll get a feeling of the whole general feeling of the chest opening up. Okay. So this is the action of the lungs in opening up the chest and connecting. Okay, so now let's have another different type of experience. What we're going to do, get you to do now, what we're going to do together, is we're going to tap towards the center line. And if we follow the clavicle underneath here, and we get to here, just before we get to the end of the clavicle, we're going to hit kidney 27, and that has a different feeling. And I'll show you what I mean. Let's just start tapping. Keep really relaxed, and just tune in internally to the feeling of, the, of that point that we're working here. And now we're going to work along the, underneath the clavicle. Okay, now when we get to here, just keep tapping here. Can you feel a much more central connection all the way down the front of our body, almost right into the stomach and then down further? And that's because this point here, kidney 27, directly connects down into the lower dantian and also the middle, the middle um, a burner as well. It's a very strong point. It can be used even for digestive problems. But the main thing it does is it connects the kidney, the lower burner, with the lungs. And you can feel the difference. Like if you tap here and you go here, this is much more of a general open kind of feeling, isn't it? The lungs. You come here, you get to the center, and suddenly you can feel this central connection all the way down the front of your body. Isn't that exciting? That's really, really exciting. And that's really useful because it's one of the best stress-releasing things we can do. Connect our breathing down to the lower burner. So we're not going like, <gasps> okay, we're going, whatever, okay? It's the super chill, shiatsu, chill out, we can survive anything technique. <laughs> okay, so let's do it on the other side. Okay, we're going to open up the lungs. See, it's nice and general. You can feel it reverberating right through the whole of the lung there. Uh, and we can emphasize that by going down the channel. We're working down towards the thumb. If you cough and expel anything out of your lungs when you're doing this, then it's all really good. You can imagine that kidney 27 is really good for immunity as well because what it does is it increases the power of the lungs 
and their general energy connection with the Dantian. So combined with what we've done today with warming the lower Dantian, freeing up the middle burner, it's the best thing we can do to keep our health absolutely in tip-top condition, especially in the winter. Okay, so we go down. Whoa. Go down into the thumb. Okay, that's the lung channel. Okay, so let's see if we can do it again. Let's see if we can feel the difference between lung and the kidney channel, right? So I'm gonna start off here. I'm tuning in oh, to that feeling in the whole lung, especially when you get around to here. This is around lung one. It really feels like the whole of the lungs are being stimulated, doesn't it? Now slowly work to underneath the clavicle, that's the collarbone, that's this bone here, the collarbone. Pretty easy to find. Slowly work along it, tuning into the effects of the dough in. And you'll find that when you get right in almost to the end of the clavicle, just underneath it, there's suddenly a very different feeling all through the central channels into the middle burner and even down into the lower burner. It's a much more centralized feeling. And what you're feeling there is you're feeling the action of our point of the week, which is bladder 27. And I want you to just keep doing it and I'll just put the um, chart up and I'll show you what it looks like. That's our cold water element. And look here, I've got a picture of it here for you. There we are. Okay, so let's just keep doing it. And you can see where it is. It's right underneath the end of the clavicle. So if you feel your clavicle, you can feel like a little bobbly bit at the end. You go back a bit and there's like a hollow there, just where I'm thumping now. It unbinds the chest. It also coughing, wheezing and chest pain, but also it also connects down into the middle and the lower burner. And that's what you're feeling right now. Okay, that's kidney 27. That's our point of the week. Okay, isn't that great? Okay, so let's just do it both sides for superpower kidney 27, and then we better check out the yang channels to make sure we're completely balanced for the rest of this week. Okay, so here we go. General lungs, general lungs, general lungs come into the middle, feel the central channel connection down into the middle and the lower burner. And if you just stimulate that point now, that whole area around there, uh, and take some nice deep breaths into the lower abdomen, it's almost like there's a tube there where that energy is going down into the lower burner. And that's like an awesome, awesome thing that we can do to really strengthen our courage, warm up the lower burner, calm our breathing, and generally have that willpower and that positivity to take us through.